Hey, shalom everyone, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Counting of the Omer, 50 Days to Spiritual Refinement. Today is 24 days of the Omer, which makes three weeks and three days of the Omer. The theme for the week is Nitzach, which means victory, and the theme of the day is Tefrit, which means beauty. So the overall theme is the beauty of his victory. Now, sometimes to be a victor, you've got to lose first you've got to be dealt a devastating hand or a devastating blow. And becoming the underdog and rising above uh, uh, such a defeat makes a, uh, makes a victory very beautiful. Now, let me give you a very harsh example of this. Let's say that uh, a lovely woman um, who is kind to everybody, wouldn't hurt a fly, um, loved by everybody, let's say that she is raped and it's devastating it's very traumatizing and you know she has the choice of whether to be angry and to be bitter and say why did this happen to me this is so unfair and basically all that niceness and kindness that she was known by could be dissolved and destroyed but let's say that instead she's like well why not me it could have been anybody it just happened to be me i'm not gonna let uh, I'm not going to play the victim. I'm not going to let um, my circumstances dictate who I am or, uh, you know, I'm not going to allow this to become a lifetime defeat. I choose to forgive the rapist and in turn, I'm going to teach and empower women how to be safe and how to, you know, keep this from happening to them. And I'm going to show the victory through the love of God and through the love of Messiah Yeshua that I can overcome this and be a victor. And that's when a loss becomes a victory, and not just a victory, but a very beautiful victory. So, you know, I just used rape as an example. Use any tragedy, use any any defeat, any blow or trauma in your life, and choose to be the victor and not the victim, and choose to overcome. So, the traditional psalm uh, for today is Psalm 11, and let's get right on into that. And it says, For the music director, a psalm of David. And Adonai, I have taken shelter. How can you say to my soul, fly like a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend the bow. They fix their arrow on the bowstring so they can shoot from the shadows at those who are upright in heart. If our foundations are destroyed, what should the righteous do? Adonai is in his holy temple. Adonai's throne is in heaven. You know, basically saying, Despite us being attacked, God's still on the throne. He's still in control. His eyes are watching. His eyelids observe the children of men. Adonai examines the righteous, but the wicked and one loving violence his soul hates. On the wicked, he will rain down fire and brimstone and scorching wind as the portion of their cup. So you know what? We may lose a few battles, but we're going to win the war, right? For Adonai is righteous. His lo he loves justice and the upright will see his face. So let's go ahead and close this day out with a word of prayer. Abba Adonai God, help and enable us to be beautiful victors in every circumstance by and with your help, refusing to lie down and play the victim, but using wrongs done to us as an opportunity to better ourselves and to help others. For this we pray in the name of Yeshua Messiah our Lord. Amen. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Shalom. Shavuot Tov.